Um, good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Li Ling. I'm from Sichuan University, Chengdu, China. Um, first, I have, uh, I will say thank you for Canada University and uh, Professor Prita invited me to pick here and uh, give me an uh, opportunity to share my uh, research. My topic is about uh, the text and images of holiday in Chinese tantrism. The cult of holiday began to spread outward from Gandhara region when she became a goddess of Buddhism. The Buddhist holiday is a yakshi. The monk usually translate the Indian yakshi, yaksha to Chinese as a ghost, uh, Chinese called gui or evil gui guai. So holiday was called mother of evil. Uh, Chinese called Gui Zi Mu means mother of evil sons. Sometimes she look like a, a queen and, or beautiful mother, and sometimes uh, look like an ugly ghost in China. So as a Chinese seeing that a wicked, a wicked woman is a yakshi. So uh, yakshi is a not good word in China. So I will show you some picture. The holiday look like a queen or look like a ugly uh, ghost. Here is a Ming Dynasty sculpture and painting. The ghost mother is described as an extremely beautiful god goddess. Here is the mother and um, here is uh, assistant hold his uh, son, but his son's uh, head is lost. And here's mother and his youngest son. And I will sh uh, show you uh, the ghost stair. This uh, capture and the painting uh, belong to Tang Dynasty about 8th century. Here is the holiday, look like a ghost, a very ugly. He hold the uh, youngest son here. And he also, the painting belong to the 8th century, uh, come, uh, come from Dunhuang. The, the painting show the mother look like the ugly ghost and he hold his young baby. And uh, this also come from Dunhuang painting. It's the holiday, uh, very ugly. And uh, this sculpture come from Sichuan uh, Buddhist king. He's the holiday or yakshi, hold the youngest son. In the early eighth century, Chinese monk Yi Jing uh, introduced a completed story of holiday into China by Vinaya text. After middle of 8th century, the famous Indian monk, Amogha Vajila, translated the tantric text of holiday in, into Chinese. The two tantric te texts play a considerable uh, role in promoting the cult of holiday in China. The two sutra is, one, the sutra of holiday, Chinese called Da Yao Cha Nu, Huan Xi Mu Bing Ai Zi Cheng Jiu Fa. And the second is a uh, uh, mantra of uh, mantras of holiday, Ke Li Di Mu Zhen Yan Jing, which recorded how to get some uh, miracle ability by reciting the mantras and uh, taking meditation before the goddess images. Uh, this sutra was not uh, brought into China by Amagha Wajila, but mostly brought into China by Xuanzang and uh, Yi Jing during the Wu Zhou, uh, Wu, Zhou uh, Wu Ze Tian period. But that time, uh, the sutra not translate. Uh, till to Amogha Vajila, then translate this tantric uh, text. Here is the Amogha Vajila. And the painting is also showing the famous Indian monk, Amogha Vajila. So she, he looked like an Indian monk, have a heavy beard. The Sutra of Haridi, the text is not very long, just uh, basically outlines the uh, same contents as the story which Yi Jing translation. Namely, Haridi was the daughter of uh, uh, Suodu, is also the, the great Yaksha, and married with Yaksha, married with the Suodu's son. Then, uh, Haridi uh, gave birth 
to 500 children, all called evil sons. After she followed the Buddha, uh, who would be offered food by the disciple of Buddha, no more to swallow human beings. The method of feeding the evil mother is also the first mentioned by Aging's version. Here, however, mentioned that she has another duty that she should protect the children. This drawing, this painting comes from the, the text, the Sutra of Haridi text. We can see the uh, Haridi hold pomegranate and around her uh, there are uh, some sons. Not only this duty means protecting the children, she also can remove all the dis disasters from human being and uh, like the monk getting 28 miracles by prayer her. Then the holiday icon of the offering is described. This contents called the way of making image means people can obtain siddhis uh, or miracles by praying the icon. An achiever who gets the siddhis can do many, many miracles, such as enter other people's bodies, ascending into the air, light wishes to come, come true, healing the sick, and uh, even nirvana. Just feature. Then uh, let us just to say the, uh, the images feature. Uh, the key feature of holiday, tantric holiday, uh, is uh, holding a uh, pomegranate. For so some scholars, means uh, pomegranate uh, means uh, many sons because holiday deliver uh, five hundred uh, sons. And another meaning. I think should be expel uh, the evils. Uh, this image come from very early. Uh, pomegranate. It's also a, it's a, a very old picture. It's a goddess hold a baby and hold, another hand hold a pomegranate. Uh, look like a holiday. And then these two pictures belong um, to um, 11th century in China. And this sculpture uh, found in Sichuan uh, Buddhist cave. And this painting uh, was made at uh, uh, 11th century uh, of China. It's the uh, oldest picture. We can find the mother hold a pomegranate and another hand hold the young baby. Uh, because this sculpture, his uh, left hand was lost, uh, I, I guess. This hand should take pomegranate. Another sculpture in Sichuan, and we can find a uh, mother sit here and hold the baby. And another hand, mm, we cannot know uh, clear what uh, she hold, what she uh, holding. So let me explain the exactly meaning about the pomegranate. Uh, in in Buddhist, uh, there are two important tree, uh, trees of expired evils. One is a peach tree and another is pomegranate tree. The peach tree is belong to the Chinese tradition and the pomegranate tree belong to the Buddhist tradition. From the text, we, we, we know that people cannot put the food or the water and the both of the trees. Because the go the ghost won't dare to come and take it. Because these two kind of trees uh, is expel evil. So I think because holiday can move all dis disasters and the disease means she can keep the evil of away from the children or human being. So here the pomegranate should mean means expel the evil, not means science. So we can see, we can find not only mother hold a pomegranate, but also her youngest son also hold the pomegranate. 
Here picture show Halliday's youngest son. Uh, he also hold pomegranate. You can hear because they can um, protecting the children. Let us to say how to pray for getting the city cities or miracles. Uh, from the text, we can say after painting, uh, after the icon painting, put the icon in a sacred room. The image should face west and the, the practitioner face the image. Then the talani is chanted without the talani is chanted then, without, the talani interruption, is chanted without, without interruption, to without speaking to People others. Can People can obtain miracle ability after chanting the mantra for 10,000 times. And then, times. And then Hadidi will appear. Uh, during the, during, during the uh, chanting, during the, during, during uh, the uh, chanting the mantra. Uh, should uh, should make some mudras. We can see here uh, showing different mudras. For the echo, should practice this uh, mudra. Uh, different mudra have different meaning. Above all, it must be done in sacred place. Sacred place is very important thing, and it must not be seen by or heard by others. And the image is used must not be shown to anyone. If these things not done in sacred place or in sacred, or by heard by seen, be seen be heard by other other people the prayer can not get anything so that is important the sacred is important so from this uh, i will deliver the conclusion although the cult of evil mother was once popular but very little remains of it can be found now only some drawing found in the text so how to see the physical object uh, in Sichuan, uh, even if it look like uh, tantric images. I show some drawing in text and uh, here is found in Sichuan uh, sculpture. In Sichuan, um, we can find at least uh, uh, seven or eight piece of holiday uh, sculptures. So my opinion, my conclusion is that actually it, it is not the tantric images of holiday. Uh, I will explain again because all this uh, sculpture showing to everybody, uh, to the audience, uh, to the visitors. So this image is not keep in a sacred place. So uh, they have not miracle. Uh, they cannot get miracles. This image, I think, uh, made in Sichuan. Uh, in Song Dynasty or 11th century, just for icon, for prayer, uh, by prayer, forget children, because um, this uh, goddess is uh, protecting the children or bestow the children. So that time, this image, even if it look like a tantric image, but actually he just mother god, bestow the children's god. That is my conclusion. Okay, thank you.